Welcome to the Defeating Epilepsy Foundation YouTube channel. In this presentation, we will discuss what femfluramine is, the history of femfluramine, how femfluramine works, side effects, and risks. Make sure to like our videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell to be notified of future videos. Please click on our donate link at the top of our channel and donate today. Your donation helps us to make a difference for those battling epilepsy. We appreciate your support. This presentation is for educational purposes only. Any questions you have regarding your current medication, changes, or any level of treatment, please contact your physician for any medical advice. The Defeating Epilepsy Foundation provides only educational resources and will not provide any medical advice when it comes to medication or treatment. According to the National Library of Medicine, fenfluramine is an anticonvulsant used to treat seizures in patients two years and older with Dravet syndrome. Mayo Clinic also lists its use to treat Lennox-Gastaut syndrome. The exact mechanism through which fenfluramine works is not known. It was previously used as a short-term adjunct to diet to treat obesity, as it has appetite-suppressing qualities but has since been withdrawn worldwide. Fenfluramine is sold under the brand name Fintepla and is only available under a restricted distribution program called Fintepla REMS. Risk Evaluation and Mitigation Strategy Program. Fenfluramine was discovered as a derivative of amphetamine and its appetite suppressant properties were discovered in the mid-1960s. It was approved as an appetite suppressant in the United States in 1973. It became very popular in the 1980s, being used by more than 60 million people. During this time, the fen-fen combination became famous. Coupling fenteramine with fenfluramine lengthened the medication's effect. In the 1980s, an association between the use of fenfluramine and pulmonary hypertension was discovered. There was also observation of valvular heart disease in patients using the fen-fen combination. For these reasons, the FDA withdrew fenfluramine and dexfluramine in 1997. It has since been discovered as an effective therapy against pharmacoresistant seizures and was granted FDA approval on June 25, 2020 for the treatment of Dravet syndrome. Fenfluramine works to suppress appetite by releasing serotonin. It releases through vesicular storage and modulates serotonin transporter function, increased serotonin results in a feeling of fullness and loss of appetite, among other things. The mechanism by which fenfluramine works to treat seizures is not yet understood and is under study. The Mayo Clinic lists the following as side effects for fenfluramine. See your doctor immediately if you have any of the following blurred vision, body aches, changes in hearing, walking, and balance, chest tightness, cough, and or dry or sore throat, chills, fever, decreased appetite or weight, diarrhea, difficulty breathing or swallowing, dizziness, ear drainage or earache or pounding in the ears, epileptic seizures that will not stop. Additional side effects are headache, irritability, nausea, muscle pain and weakness, shakiness and unsteady walk, slow or fast heartbeat, stomach pain, issues with muscle control or coordination, and voice changes. Mayo Clinic states the following precautions among others on their Fintelpa page. Do not use this medicine if you are using or have used an MAO inhibitor within the past 14 days. This medication may cause a heart problem called valvular heart disease and pulmonary arterial hypertension. Your doctor may want you to undergo an echocardiogram test first before using this medicine every six months during treatment and once every three to six months after the last dose to check for these unwanted effects. 
Tell your doctor if you have a decreased ability to exercise, swelling of the feet or lower legs, trouble breathing, chest pain or discomfort, or fainting. This medicine may cause decreased appetite and weight loss, which could especially affect growth and development for a child taking Patelpa. Talk with their doctor if you have any concerns. Check with your doctor right away if you have anxiety, restlessness, a fast heartbeat, fever, sweating, muscle spasms, twitching, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, or see or hear things that are not there. These may be symptoms of a serious condition called serotonin syndrome. The risk may be higher if you take certain other medications that affect the serotonin levels in the body. There are several drugs that interact negatively when taken with fenfluramine. Consult with your doctor before starting fenfluramine or any other medications. Appropriate studies have not been conducted on the use of fenfluramine in pediatric, geriatric, and breastfeeding populations. Safety in these populations has not been established. Consult with your doctor before using tobacco or alcohol as this may cause interactions. Presence of other medical problems may affect the use of this medicine, specifically depression, eye or vision problems, heart disease, hypertension, lung problems, kidney or liver disease. This medicine is part of the Fintepla REMS program. It is crucial to become familiar with the Fintepla medication guide before use. In conclusion, according to the National Library of Medicine, fenfluramine is an anticonvulsant used to treat seizures in patients two years and older with Dravet syndrome. It has since been discovered as an effective therapy against pharmacoresistant seizures and was granted FDA approval on June 25, 2020. Talk to your doctor about any side effects you may be experiencing. Talk to your doctor about any of the risk in taking fenfluramine. Do not make any changes to your medication or treatment plan without consulting with your doctor first. To learn more about fenfluramine, please check out the resources used in the presentation today. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media pages. We would love to hear from you. Leave a comment below or email us at info at defeatingepilepsy.org. Thank you for your support and together we will defeat epilepsy. Check out our other great videos and subscribe today. You have the power to defeat epilepsy.